Hi there, I'm Lisa. I am the owner of Lollipop Box Club. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me today. I'm going to be getting creative. I've put together, or rather taken a whole load of stuff from the Lollipop Box Club, the January Forever Dreaming Kit, and I'm going to be making a very special mini book today. I've printed off a whole load of photos and I've got some pieces from the kit as well as my black journal pen, mini pair of scissors and I've got some journal tags, um, a glassine envelope and that's it. I have got my uh, trimmer next to me and also my double sided sticky tape and it's just going to be a really basic mini book. My son is turning 16 so I want to make a special mini book for him to look back on. I was printing off the photographs and I was, as I was printing them and looking through, I was thinking, oh, remember when we went to New York? And remember when you won the fancy dress costume at Chessington? Remember when you won, your, you caught your first Pokemon? And so I then thought, I'm gonna call this mini book, Remember When. So it's to celebrate his 16th birthday and it's going to be called Remember When. I'm going to be doing the journaling at the very end. So I'm going to start with actually creating the book. Now I've got these card blanks, they're like a four by three card blank and these are going to make up the mini book. I've got papers from the kit as well and the embellishment sheets, but I'm going to start by doing this. I think I counted, I have 18 photos. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to make like a consultina book. So I'm going to be attaching lots of these together and then I've got the front and the back to use. I will also create um, bits where the pages come out. You'll see, um, I'll explain as I go along. I think a lot of it I'm going to be making up it up as I go along. I have created um, mini books like this before, but I'm just going to jump straight in and just start attaching the card blanks. Ready-made card blanks that you'd use for card making are actually really good for mini books. Um, they're nice and solid, so you've got a good firm base, and um, they just make it quite easy, especially like here, you've already got seams there, so that makes it really easy. And it's obviously quite compact then as well to put the book away, which I like. I'm going to carry on with this. I basically need, say, 20 to be on the safe side. So I've got my card and I've added another glassine envelope and basically I can fit two photos front and back. So I do want to change it up a little bit so it's not just completely uniformed. I want to add it, sort of make fun bits and pieces. I'm also going to be adding a drop down page. I'm not sure for which photos, but I've got a piece of normal card here and I'm going to be measuring it so it's the actual width of the page and I'm going to cut down so I've got a long strip. I've got the strip here, I'm not sure yet for which page I'm going to need it but it obviously fits all of them so for now that can go to one side. The very first page is going to be um, the cover so I'm going to leave that for the time being and I'm going to start on the inside. The number one thing about doing a mini book I find for me personally is to keep it simple. Do not go crazy and have a theme for following throughout each page. So I'm going to start with the, let's start with our first photo. I was going to do them in order. I think I will do them in order actually. So I'm gonna go through and just put them in age order. So I have actually got 16 photos. I thought I had more than that. I'll probably end up finding some more or something. Um, so let's start with the first one. And I want to keep it quite simple with the design. And I'm going to be using um, a strip of this, of the pattern paper throughout each book, each page. I think I'm gonna start with this one actually. And I'm gonna keep the strip the same width all the way. Through. I've cut these to five centimeters wide and I'm just going to keep it again really simple. I've got a bit of double-sided sticky tape. I'm gonna reach for my large scissors and to trim, just follow the edge of the card and that's all it takes and the photo is going to be going on there. I'm going to be doodling for a lot of this. A lot of the pattern paper is going to be covered up and that's absolutely fine. I'm going to, what I like to do is continue through and then go, so do the same bit on each page and then go around with the, with the pen. So I will add embellishments and things afterwards. So I'm gonna go through and continue adding pattern paper. 
So I've got two photos now. These are from the same age and the same trip. This was our first trip to Disney and he was crazy. He was five. He was crazy about Power Rangers at the time and got to meet the green Power Ranger. We hadn't told him about it and all of a sudden in Hollywood Studios or what was, what was it back then? MGM Studios and the music started playing and he knew instantly and all these Power Rangers ran in and he was just so excited. Um, really got into his posing then, bless him. Um, so I am going to pop one of these on the tag here. I'm gonna continue with the patterned paper so that the theme, I might do the wider one actually. I've got the last piece, they all got cut into five and the last bit was just a bit wider. So seeing as I'm covering a lot of that up with the tag, I will do the wider piece. That on there. I love it when I make a mini book and there's bits and pieces that overlap and hang. So let's pop that one on there. And what I might actually do, I've just trimmed off the bottom piece there and I'm going to tuck that underneath. It's a really good fit actually. And I'll do the same on the other side, just so there's a little bit of colour on the tag. Any excess I can just trim off. Perfect. And then I've got my space for my journaling as well. So that will slide into there nicely. I'm going to keep the string on there for now and continue on with the photos. I'm now going to be working on the bit with the extra space for the photograph. So I'm going to start by sticking this down and that creates my extra space then down below for the photo and I will continue with that. And this first photograph can go there and then I'm going to do the same with this one here. Now this one is slightly larger so that needs to bend up basically on the bottom there. I might need to trim that one down very slightly because that's going to fold but then that can sit there and I can trim it off along the bottom. So the photo's on there now and I folded that up. That creates my extra page here. The photo's a little bit on the large side so I just need to trim it down because at the moment as you can see it doesn't actually fit between the spaces there. So I'm going to trim that down and that's created my additional piece for the extra photo. Stuck down, I'm going to fold it up here and then again using the page for guidance, I can trim that. I've got my extra photo there and I'm going to add a little bit more card along the bottom there so it all ties in nicely. I'm at the end of the book here. I've got one page left, all the others are done and I've got three photos left. I do want to use this one for the New York and the Washington, saying that I'm going to have the same problem with the Washington. I'm going to need to rethink that one. Fits on there. Okay, um, I know what I'm going to do with that one. But I do want to create an extra page because I want to be able to add a photo after I've given it to him of his 16th birthday. So I'll take one on the actual day. So I need another card blank. That's the good thing about this, you can always add more pages. As long as you haven't finished the book, you, it's easy to add another page like that. And I've instantly got three or two extra pages. So on this one where I haven't actually got enough space, I'm still going to use the glassine envelope and pop that there. And what I'm going to do, I will stick that along the middle there. I need to trim off the edges slightly and on here I'm going to add this photograph and I'll journal on the back. Um, yeah, because then I've got my last page for that one and that one for the 16th birthday photo. Done the book. I did make a mistake and I'm going to show you what happened. Um, I miscalculated something. So this is going to be the start of the book. Kind of opens a bit backwards, doesn't it? There. And then we've got the baby photos going through preschool, school age, junior school. And then I'd forgotten about the space on the back here. So, but I had also forgotten that I needed two extra empties. So I needed one for the front and two for the 16th birthday. So because I'm using double-sided sticky tape, they were easy to just peel up. So I've moved them all along a little bit, giving me that one for one when he's 16 and that one for the front. 
Now I am going to embellish. Again, I'm going to keep it really simple. I'm going to go around with my black journal pen to start with and decorate. And I'm also going to be using the cloud stencil here. As well. I've decided to decorate, I'm going to add a little frame for to go around each photo. I'm going to keep this really simple. I've just got my normal black journal pen. Um, I don't have a particularly steady hand when I'm drawing, but these aren't meant to be perfect. They're just fun doodles. And I'm drawing my frames like that. And then I'm going to go around. I might add some colour. The plan is to add some colour, but I might see how it goes. That's that one. I'm not going to bother with that one because I've got the bag on there. And let's carry on how I did the other one with the wiggly edge. All the way across. Just be careful not to smudge when you're using the pen. And then do the rounded edges. Anyone can do this. You don't have to be amazing at drawing. And the idea is it's doodled, so it's not meant to be have that perfect look. It's meant to look hand-drawn. I like doing this. I think it's really fun. There we go. And then let's do one with stripes again. Louis really likes it when I make him things. He's always been very appreciative of anything handmade. And it's funny, for a 16-year-old boy, he always knows how much time goes into projects. So he's always very grateful, which is very nice. And then I am going to just add those squiggles in. You can see where I'm going there. I'm just going to go continue on the other side. The book is all journaled and I've done all the little frames. I'm now going to work on the cover and I'm going to use some of the fabric from the kit. Let's put that over like that. And I am going to create it so there's still a white border and I'm going to stick some of the fabric down in the middle. Fabric and I'm just going to fray it a little bit. I quite like the frayed edges. And I'm only going to be using double-sided sticky tape to stick it in place. And that's it. I've got some more fabric left over and I've decided to use the, some of the other fabric um, as a little topper for the tags. I'm going to remove the string and staple that in place. So let's put this stuck down. The title of my front cover, I've just printed this using a typewriter font onto A4 thin card and I'm going to trim it down into strips. And I'm also going to use the embellishment postcard as well to cut out a few bits and pieces and embellish. So I've used the binder clip from the kit. I've clipped that underneath one of the clouds that I've just cut out. I've cut out the title. I've also cut out this from the embellishment sheet and I'm just using a few of the stickers. I've also got the arrow that I was going to attach there. I'm going to use that with a staple actually. I think that will look quite nice. I do need to attach some thread to tie the book in actually, so I'm going to leave like that, like that and I might actually change that slightly. Uh, I'm going to use a couple more of the stickers and use the yellow ones to contrast. Now, um, the thread, I'm going to be using this from the DIY kit that Daisy put together for us and I'm going to plait the thread together and this is actually going to tie the um, book together. I'll show you how I'm going to do that. So I've plaited that and I'll be coming back to that in a moment. I am now going to finish all the little pages. I'm really happy but they need some colour. So I've got some watercolour pencils here and I'm going to start decorating the frames. I'm now working on adding some colour as you can see. Very quick and easy. I am going to use blue on this one. And I've literally got a watercolour pencil. I'm not being careful to keep in the lines. I don't want it to look perfect. Going on quite nice and thick in that border that I created. Once that's done, I've got a thin paintbrush with a little bit of water. And I'm going over where I've just coloured in. 
that then bleeds out nicely and becomes the colour for my background. If you do need a little bit more colour, I think I will on this one, it's not quite dark enough. Then I've got my paints in front of me and I can just add to it. I think I need a little bit darker actually, that's better. And that gives me my colour on my page. There we go. I finished now with all the colouring. That's all done, all the watercolours and the pencils. I'm now going to change the tag here. I'm going to take the ribbon out, just cutting through the leftover fabric. And I'll be able to get two out of this one. And so I've create, I'm going to create like a V. I will trim this down. How much side do we want this one? This one's going to be on the front. I'm going to do that. Take my staple gun and do three staples through the middle. It's a bit long there, so let's trim those off and fray the edges. That's a nice bit of texture to the mini album as well. There we go, and that can then and that can go in there. I'm now just going around with my sticker sheet and adding these stickers to various places. They're just really cute. A little heart there. So the book is now finished. I have it here for you. I'm quite pleased. I wanted some bits that pop out over the top, so I'm pleased about that. I've used the plaited thread here from the DIY kit. I know it was meant as a bracelet, but um, I thought I would use it for that. I was going to add the charm actually. I still need to do that. I forgot there's a cute little charm. Um, oh, two secs. I've got it. It's here. And I've got the little ring. I'm going to have it hanging from that. This. I have got the tiny little ring here. And this is going to be fiddly. I'm going to add it to my. Right, this was really fiddly. I've attached it to the clip, but it's not on properly. And I did need to swap it to a larger ring. Um, but I think that looks really cute. So this is the album. Let's take this off. And I will show you. And then the pages are now coloured. I'm so pleased with how this has turned out. It's a really nice keepsake. And this one with the tag. Stickers are a nice finish as well. I'm pleased with those. When he was poorly, when he had appendicitis, and when he started junior school, that's Holly there. Football, holiday trips. It's a nice keepsake, isn't it? I'm really pleased with this. Another Orlando trip. Tag. And a bit of wedding on there, which is why I've got to read there from the stickers. Yeah. And then we've got one for the 16th birthday, which I'll finish once I've taken the photograph. So that's the book. I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, everything here, apart from the two little glassine envelopes, um, but I have included those in previous kits. Everything is from the kit, and obviously I printed out the wording there. So um, you could make this as well. If you haven't got the card blanks, you can just use um, normal white card and fold it and cut it to whatever size you need. Thank you so much for watching this. I hope you've enjoyed it. And um, leave me a message below if you like to make mini books as well. Um, I'd love to know what kind you like to make. I really enjoy making them. Thank you very much and um, I will see you very soon. Bye.